You okay? I, I don't know. I was so drunk. We both were. One minute her hands were all over me, the next I'm in the water. By the time I got back up here, she was gone. She pushed you? No, nothing like that. Like I said, I had one too many and lost my balance. I just didn't expect to find her missing when I got back. Something must have scared her off. Yeah, like your floating corpse. What? Forget it. I know I should go, but she might come back. It makes you miss the warmth of the police station, doesn't it? Your secret errand was to get a flashlight? Keep it down. I can't see you, and we're not talking to each other. Got it? This place is crawling with people. Don't want to know. Hey, we're still people. The book says that there's a murder that happened right here. All I see are dead leaves and mud. This can't be a dead end. Already. What am I gonna do? Just leave it to me. Leave me alone. Can't you see I'm looking for something? Leave me alone. Can't you see I'm looking for something? Excuse me, but, uh, did you see the police investigation here a few weeks back? Not close up. I think there was something behind me, but I'm not sure. Still a whole lot of nothing. What do you know about the girl who washed up here? This thing 
floated down the river by her body. Think it ended up in the bushes over there. Quit bothering me. Pretty sure it was on the shoreline. What are we missing? Maybe some combination of clues? <sighs> it's too dark in these bushes. Joy, I need your help getting something out of those bushes. Okay. Keep looking. Don't want to miss a clue. I don't know if it's important, but this is all I can find. Wait a minute. There's something familiar about this. She died. I better tell Joy. Her body washed up on shore, so she was murdered upriver. But where? Miles of banks both sides. Might as well be looking for a needle in a haystack of needles. Oh, genius. It'll be a needle stack. Crawling with ghosts. Wish we could just ask her, Sophia. Holy crap, maybe we can. That's that ghost that was watching me. Freaky girl wouldn't leave me alone. It's her. She's the one in the photo. <sighs> Damn it, stop doing that to me, will you? Wait, don't leave me here with. Did you see that? Yeah, she was talking about that. A small favor. Give her a chance. Hey, she can help all help. of us. Please? Did you hear that? Of course I heard that. Demons. So what happened with Sophia? No, I haven't caught her yet. And why are you talking to me?
be that hard. Then you get over here and try it. Okay. I know it's steel or iron or something, but it's just like a fence, right? I mean, how much can it weigh? <clears throat> Should have brought a crowbar. Yeah. We always bring a crowbar when we're hitchhiking to Boston in the middle of the night. Just get your ass over here. Hey, no problem. But remember, this whole thing was your idea. Damn! This thing's got to be welded shut or something. Now, I'm sure they have doors ready for easy access after they put dead bodies inside. Next time, we'll remember the crowbar. Next time? Wait. Where's the flask? I thought you had it. No, you... D did you put it down somewhere? It's around. Just keep looking. It's essential equipment for a road trip, you know. Whose idea was this? This is not going to end well. At least it'll make a good story later. Haven't had this much fun in... ever. What's with all this crap? Crap? This is my great-grandfather's stuff from the war. It may look like crap because it's old, but it's amazing. Blood cake bayonets, gruesome letters about the war. I even had a sip from his old flask. It made me realize how soft people have gotten. Compared to what? Compared to men like him. Don't you see? Finding all this stuff was a sign that I should be the one to remind people. To make them choke on their own blood. Please don't tell me you went through with it. I had it all planned out. But I died before I could. Just one more day and I could have changed the world. Listen, whatever you think this is about, it's not. Your great-grandfather fought to stop wars, not inspire them. And just let it go and move on. If you don't understand, you're just a part of the problem. People like you will never understand. Maybe I can help. Damn it. What's wrong with this thing? What do you mean? It seems to be doing its job just fine. Its job is to let people know who I was, and I was not like this. Not this filthy. I was important and rich and clean. I knew the importance of keeping up appearances, which is why this just won't do. It needs to look better than all the others. Not like the rest of these freaks. You'd be surprised. Uh, does this look okay to you? Here we are in the oldest part of the graveyard, which was founded in the 1660s. Was that before or after the trials? Oh, good question. Did everyone hear that? This young lady just asked if this happened before or after the famous trials. It actually happened a few decades before, so this graveyard is quite old. Okay, and we're going to walk a little farther now, so if you'll just follow me.
Hey, buddy. You got a problem? You could say that. I used to be a butcher before this bitch got a bug up her ass and started snooping around. People used to come from miles away to buy from me. I had more awards than the wall space to hang them. Then, her little boy goes missing, and I'm suddenly on death row? Call it a hunch, but I'm guessing you killed him. I never killed him. I never killed any of them. I left that up to my pigs. So you're just gonna haunt her for the rest of her life? Then what? Simple. I'm gonna ask her how her son tasted. Funny thing about pigs, you'd be surprised at how much their diet can affect their flavor. I hear there's a special place out there reserved for monsters just like you. She brought this on herself. I felt a chill. Was it a ghost? Wonder if it's really haunted. Peaceful now, but some terrible things happen to these people. Probably scandalous stuff they can't talk about. There's so much more than witches in this town. Nothing like a good book. Shh, not now. I can't be bothered. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? Fine, I'll just look around myself then. Don't touch anything. If you must know, I'm on the verge of figuring it out, piecing it all together. No offense, but these medical books seem a little out of date. I don't think you're breaking any new ground here. Why would I do that when there's so much old ground that needs figuring out? Let me ask you, do you know what the oldest known malady is? And of course you don't, so I'll just tell you. It's death. And every culture in the world has a book on the subject, usually lost and usually taboo. I've dedicated my life to unraveling the mysteries of death. I'm close, but there's still something missing. Some things are just better off lost. Leave me be, I'm working. So what was this place? I, I don't know. I heard them say it was some kind of field hospital or something. Please, get me out of here. It's not what they say it is. Not with him here. Who? Dr. Trotter. I, I, I don't understand. What do you mean this wasn't a hospital? What was it? A slaughterhouse. I, I wish I could help. I really do. I'm sorry. I'm too tired to fight. Look, I'm on your side. I just want to ask you a few questions. Why oh. can every friggin' ghost teleport but me? 
gonna have to figure this shit out. getting delirious again. I'm afraid he's gonna have another seizure. Just comfort him as best you can. <coughs> His internal organs are failing. He doesn't have long now. <coughs> Please! Help! <coughs> None of us are very long. I can't talk right now. Can't you see this man is in pain? 